<laughs> okay, um, who's ever gone to a party and tried to explain what the hell it is we do? <laughs> you say so it's kind of like a mapping thing, an intelligent map with a bit of data behind it. You say maybe IT, no one really gets it. But ever since Google came onto the picture with Google Maps, it's so much easier. We say it's kind of like Google Maps. It makes it a lot easier. So our next speaker is Mickey Katario from Google. He's going to tell us all about the Google Maps API. Woo! So as Stephen said, my name is Mickey Katario. I'm the product manager for the Google Maps API. I'm also here to talk to you about Movember. November <laughs> Apparently it's not as big as I thought it was going to be in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the camera really helps too, thank you. <laughs> so the Google Maps API is uh, developed right here in Sydney, as uh, many of you may know, the Google Maps is founded here. Uh, it allows you to create and uh, embed customized Google Maps on your site, and it offers, it offers a lot of other services that you can use to customize the map. And some of these are listed here, and I'll talk to, talk to the, some of those in detail. So just a quick history lesson, so Google Maps started here in Sydney about four years ago. Google acquired a company called Where2, and since then we've been developing the products and adding a lot of services to it, including the Maps API, which I'm going to delve into a little bit more today. So why do we build it? Um, our mission has always been to organize the world's information, and specifically within the Maps and Geo team, we're doing the same for Geo information. So the Maps API means people who are building customized websites can help organize that world's geo, geo information, things like GIS, web, you know, and customizing uh, mashups and web applications. So this is exactly what Steven said not to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll add that in addition to these people, there's 150,000 other websites that use Google Maps API, that actively use Google Maps API. So you can use it for a lot of things, anything from some of the bigger applications you just saw, to little things like just building your own little store locator, finding the nearest you know, store, nearest supermarket, whatever. There's a lot of different things you can do, and it's very easy to get up and running. And I'll give you a quick walkthrough for some of the different ways that you can do it. So these are the different options, whether you're a programmer or not. You can use start with JavaScript. If you're a Flash developer, there's Flash options. There's an Earth API if you're familiar with Google Earth. Static maps, if you want to just embed a very static image. And I'll tell you what about maplets, uh, what maplets are in a second as well. So the first one is JavaScript. This is sort of our classic API. If you use Google Maps, you can drag and drop the map, this, and it gives you some of the same functionality as what you see on Google Maps in terms of the info window and different kinds of maps that you see up on the screen here. And then if you uh, are developing in JavaScript, there's a number of features that you have access to in addition to the other APIs. So one is rooftop geocoding. This means if you type in an address, you get to find out exactly where the location of that is as opposed to interpolating, you know, it might be on the street or on the, on the street next to it. You get exactly the rooftop where that uh, address is located. If you've used Google Maps or other similar mapping services, you also have access to local search. This is embedded as part of the API. So if you have a map on your website, people can search on your site and find out well, what's the nearest pizza place, or what's the nearest bookstore to where your site may be located as well. Some of you have may, may seen the Street View launch that we had a couple of months ago. It raised got a lot of press, you know, a lot of issues around this, and a lot of publicity as well. Domain, for example, is also using this in the API to show you know, housing information. But Pretty much all that imagery is available to you if you want to use that on your website as well for free. Driving directions are another common functionality that you use with maps. Qantas here is using it, but a lot of other sites, tens of thousands of sites use this if you want to provide users directions on your site so they don't have to leave and go to another website to find those directions to find out how to get to whatever business you may be advertising. Um, there's a lot of uh, people here from you know, uh, some of the classic GIS software here as well. Um, Esri, for example, has, a, a, has an integration with Google Maps. So if you have, if you're using Esri ArcGIS, you can use that to create mashups, as you just saw in the last talk as well. If you've seen and used Google Earth, there's also something called the Earth API, which we launched earlier this year. It's a plugin for your browser, so you can actually get the same Google Earth experience in your browser, and you also have the capability of customizing that so you can zoom in, zoom out, have some of the same functionality that you do on a map with Earth. If you're a Flash developer, there's also uh, solutions available for Flash, for Flex, Flash, uh, uh, people who are writing code in ActionScript to, again, take Google Maps and embed them in your website that may be you know, consisting of, uh, if you have Flash animations out there, you can embed maps in there. Static Maps is a way to just get a very simple static map image on your website. If you're not a programmer, very simple to use, takes less than 30 seconds. Simple little URL, you type that in and you've got a map. It's another great way to get, also get maps on mobile websites if you're using them, uh, if you want to just have a very simple static map on mobile phones. Maplets are uh, a way to get, as I describe them as gadgets for Google Maps. It's a way to get your content and your uh, sort of logic on the Google Maps website itself. And you can drive traffic back to your own website. 
So here's, here's an example of what we did for the Australian election last year in 2007. If you went to maps.google.com.au, you could put a scene here what we did for the election, and you can use this to drive traffic back to any of the sites that are, you know, whatever content that may be. And those of you who were following the US election last week tweeted the same thing there as well. Um, it has a very strong developer community. I mentioned 150,000 plus websites that are using it. We've also held a developer day uh, event here in Sydney and around the world that some of you may have attended. We've also got a very active forum, a lot of small developers, a lot of big developers, and also an enterprise product and a number of other things. So we're based right here in Sydney. Google Maps was invented here. Uh, our team is here as well. You can contact me or you can, uh, you know, if you want to find out more, there's a number of websites as well. Just type in Google Maps API. Thank you.